I'd say the biggest a nuisance at that when I was when I was really frustrated right before that was uh, my energy just not being stable so much even though I thought I was eating well as a vegan and my um, body pain like my back hurt and uh, I had this uh, knee problem for a while and I really wanted to just be able to run regularly again just really happy to know that this method uh, delivered with what I, I believed it would. If someone's on the fence in front of me, I would just say, what are your apprehensions? And then I'll just address them and say, it's, you know, it is certainly effort, but what could be a better investment than, than your own health? Because health does equate to happiness, to feeling good, to more opportunities, to whatever. You know, I did the Master in Diabetes Challenge. It made a difference. And uh, a few key things I got from it, takeaways have, you know, definitely favorably improved my uh, life with diabetes. I had had the book for a year already, and I finally read it. And um, I felt like community was important, so I looked into it. So I think November 2nd, I officially was my first day or something like that. So I say November 1st of 2022. I was pretty well controlled, but it just wasn't too happy. My body it was 6.3 A1C. Yeah, my I didn't feel like my blood sugar was like a huge problem, but I just couldn't. Like when I started learning about mastering diabetes principles of aiming for this much lower, like 120 around there, I was a little surprised because I was happier with just being 180 or, you know, upper hundreds was more than fine for me. 200s was normal. You know, three hundreds was upsetting, but um, but now I've since you know changed my uh, my sense of uh, where I want to be. My body wasn't feeling great. That was the main thing. My numbers didn't look too bad. I've been vegan for about eight years, nine years, but um, I didn't feel great. So I'm feeling better now, uh, and definitely my numbers have, have definitely improved from this, including fasting blood glucose. I, I don't remember what it was, but it wasn't like majorly high. But let's say probably uh, mid to upper 100s. So today I, I went to my uh, endo today. I took the blood last Monday. She was big smile on my face. She said, you're 5.6, perfect A1C. Yeah, I mean, I worked hard for it. I've been focusing on food like crazy for the last four months, but and exercising like normal, a bit more than usual, maybe. Not that drastically different, but mainly the food. And so 5.6 is really more than satisfying. You know, it feels like I've earned it, but just really happy to know that this method uh, delivered with what I, I believed it would. And it delivered on the potential. And I know now I see where, you know, when I slide a little bit, end up with higher sugars for a couple of days, I could see, now I could figure out what it is. Uh, I didn't mind losing a little fat for sure, because my, my diet was definitely more heavier in fat. I was a peanut butter addict for years. So I learned that peanut butter powder would be a wiser option for me. So I'm sure I lost some body fat. I, I could looks different, but the scale, I was the exact same today as I was four months months ago at the doctor's office. So, uh, which is 149. And I feel like I could go up to like 155 and still be in kind of the healthy range. So, so weight is just a-okay. I, I, eat, I eat a ton and I definitely do not gain weight from eating a ton. I haven't been losing weight. Maybe when the weather warms up, it'll happen from being more active. I don't know. Uh, cholesterol is 82 as of today. Triglycerides, 54. Um, HDL, uh, 32. Mainly, I took, so I took blood sugar uh, like exactly when we start, when I started this in the beginning of November. So what they were at that time, I guess uh, uh, A1C was 6.3. And cholesterol, it was 112. And then now it's uh, 82. Triglycerides were 90. Now they're 54. HDL cholesterol was 38. Now it's 32. Uh, my ratio cholesterol to HDL is, was 2.9. Now it's 2.6. And percentage, HDL's percentage of cholesterol was 34. Now it's 39. I, I don't I didn't calculate how many carbs I ate before, but I certainly ate uh, processed carbs for sure. Uh, including vegan cookies and pasta more frequently, bread more frequently, cereal. I don't know the, if the number of carbs were higher, but certainly because I've 
like I said, I'm eating a lot now. I think I heard that Robbie eats five or 600 carbs a day or something. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried to get close to that just to see if I could. I can't really go past 450. 450 is my like pretty regular amount, which is a lot. 450 carbs now. And that includes plenty. I do eat oatmeal. It doesn't really have a major effect on me because I, I just take a little more insulin for it and, and I walk or run. So I would say on average, my total insulin was, uh, before I started this at all, it was somewhere between 40 and 50 units a day, depending on the season and all that. And I would say now it's definitely between 25 and 35 a day, almost never more than 35. And it can go maybe as low as 25, like if I skipped a meal. So yeah, I would say like a one third decrease in insulin, maybe. I'd say the biggest nuisance at that when I was when I was really frustrated right before that was uh, my energy just not being stable so much, even though I thought I was eating well as a vegan, and my um, body pain, like my back hurt, and uh, I had this uh, knee problem for a while, and I really wanted to just be able to run regularly again. Yeah, I, I wrote a list of like before I took the six week challenge, like my goals and pretty much all of them I could, uh, I could check off as, you know, so I feel much better. Uh, I mean, of course, room for improvement. Eventually I want to figure out how to get intermittent fasting in there. I done fasting last year, but now I want to focus on just getting the food dialed in, uh, get back to running. I, I was running all throughout the winter here in New York, almost every other day, which I've never really done before. So that it's amazing. Uh, feel strong, feel in control of my health, have a fantastic A1C, high energy on a regular basis. I don't know about high energy, but I don't have those dips anymore. So it's stable, clean out my insides. I think that's happening. Uh, reduce risk of diabetic complication, improve immune system. Yeah. So mainly feel better in my body, feel more strong, capable. And, and, and I do. I'd tell you what I love the most about it is the no recipe meal. So, so great for me, you know, being a, a, I don't know if it's a guy thing or whatever, but you know, I just have very little patience in the kitchen all throughout my life and I could cook a handful of dishes. That's it. And mainly I've been letting my wife cook f for me. She's a uh, good cook and she understands di uh, my veganism and diabetes and always worked really well. And I was always kind of afraid if she wasn't around for a few days, like I would go South a little bit, but now I, I cook for myself better than she does because I know, you know, exactly what I, I need. So yeah, the no, no uh, <clears throat> recipe meal is great because I just get the concept down, you know, something like a starchy carb and then like a, a non-starchy and greens uh, if I have them. And I just, I'm just kind of like, kind of like a, a mad scientist all the time. Whatever's in the refrigerator just goes in the pot. I mix it up. I get some degree of a ratio. My sugars generally are, fairly stable by doing that it's simple it all goes into one or two dishes you know if someone's on the fence in front of me i would just say what are your apprehensions and then i'll just address them and say it's you know it is certainly effort but what could be a better investment than than your own health because health does equate to happiness to feeling good to more opportunities to whatever some people just don't want that. They don't want to feel good, I guess. I mean, it's part, you know, I've definitely encountered that. But uh, if you want to feel good, there's just no two ways about it that this will help you to do that. And you don't have to be perfect. And there are different ways to satisfy your uh, taste taste buds. To so definitely consider it and uh, maybe, maybe give it the old college try. I understand the financial thing could be a problem. So I don't know how to get around that if someone's not doesn't have the money for it, but uh, you know to to learn about it and, and try it, I would certainly recommend it.